sorry for the lighting and um, my hair, but I just could not wait to get into this mystery box that I ordered on Etsy. It's from a really great shop called Whimsy, uh, what is it called? Whimsy Barn Vintage. And I can um, write the name below or link it if I can figure out how to link it. But I've been dying to order this box. It's a vintage farmhouse mystery box. So I had no idea it was going to be in there, um, but it's a really big box. <laughs> she had all different sizes. So you can order, I think like extra small, small, medium, and large and all those things. So I'll insert a clip of how everything came packaged because everything was just so um, packaged so nicely that nothing was going to break. And this box just seems packed with things. Um, but right on top was a cute little sticker. Like, that's so nice. I could tell this box is awesome and she still put in a sticker. Like, look, they're so pretty. And I would like to try uh, my hand at junk journaling. So I'm gonna save this for that. And she also gave a little um, a little card here from Whimsy Barn, and it says, "Let's let us take you by surprise. Vintage mystery boxes. Discover a vintage dis decor experience created just for you. It's like having a personal stylist and unwrapping Christmas gifts from your best friend any day of the year. That this is exactly what this feels like a Christmas present. And I even left like you can leave personal comments about." what you like in your decor. And I think I just, I don't remember what I said. I kind—I think I said surprise me, but there's a little card it came with. But yeah, she likes when you um, give her a little bit of an idea of your style. So she doesn't just do farmhouse boxes. She also does um, cottage and academia and like just vintage. So yeah, and she does a lot of other things. I'm definitely gonna order again, I can tell already. But let's dive in. So this is what the box looked like when I opened it up and everything came just wrapped so um, carefully. So that was awesome because there's probably some breakable things in here, but just look how well everything's wrapped. Like you don't have to worry about anything being, um, I already see cute things, but I opened it a little bit up top last night just because I couldn't resist. And I saw these two things, but we'll go through everything together. Don't mind, do we? He's just scratching his claws. <laughs> I love that guy. All right, so why don't we get into this box? And like I said, it's just everything's wrapped so nicely. Um, this is a great seller. On so Etsy. first, I love this fabric. And I'm not sure, it might just be a piece of vintage fabric, which I adore because I do a lot of crafting. Um, but let's open up and see. Oh my goodness. <gasps> no, I know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it is an apron, which is a million times better. So, okay. I wish I was a little bit farther away from the camera. Hold on. So, oh my goodness. So this is like a little vintagey looking apron. <gasps> And I don't have an apron, but look, it has a little horse on there and like quilty motifs. Oh my goodness. Gorgeous flowers. <gasps> Peas. Sweet. Oh, it says sweet pea. Oh my goodness. Corn. This is right up my alley, guys. Oh my goodness. All those <gasps> pumpkins. Autumn's my favorite season, so I like how it kind of has a little bit of every season on here, but oh my goodness. I don't have an apron, so this is just perfect. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Sorry if I'm like looking at things too long. I'm literally opening everything with you right now. So um, that's what's going on. I'm gonna be like, I'll try to keep it short how much I look at everything, but wow. This is just so cute and beautiful. Oh my goodness. Wow, I love, I love, and even the little quilt squares on the bottom. So pretty. Maybe I'll keep it on the whole time. <laughs> oh, my cat's trying to get in, and oh, okay. This looks like some cookie cutters, but the shapes. Let me so, show you the shapes of them. The shapes are really cute. <gasps> oh my goodness gracious. I have never seen a goose cookie cutter in my life and I love geese. 
look at him. <gasps> I'm going to be making some geese sugar cookies. Like, that is just so cute. Dee -doo -doo -doo. Hey, oh, my cat's already chewing on my apron string. Stop that. But that's precious. So that's one cookie cutter it came with. It also came with a candy cane. Some Christmas. Love Christmas, too. Honestly, I love all the holidays. Like, holidays just get me going. <laughs> and a little, I think this is like a little rocking horse. <laughs> Honestly, so cute. I'm obsessed with the goose. I've never seen this before. And my day is made. If these were the only things in this box, I'd be like, I love it. But let's keep going. All right, so now we have these in these like funky little accordion things. Oh, my goodness, look. She even put in these little cute tags. It says to Brianna um, from Whimsy Barn. Like that's just these little personalized touches. That's why I love Etsy. Like people want you to, I don't know. It just feels like someone really cares about the things that they make and send. And so I really love Etsy. And I know some people don't like selling on Etsy anymore, but I don't know. I still support people who are on there, of course. Oh, I think this is a little teacup. Oh, this is the most beautiful teacup. Oh, it is just so precious. Okay, so it has this lovely, my cat is in all the things, but look at this little girl. I don't know if you can see her face very well. She has the cutest little face, and she's riding a horse and carriage. And, oh my goodness. This is just, wow. This is like, I've never loved a teacup this much, I don't think. <laughs> I've never had a teacup like this, even close to being like this. So I think that's why I'm so happy. I feel like when I go out, like, antique antiquing or shopping, I never find things that are, like, really cute like this. I always struggle. So, wow, that just absolutely made my day. I'm obsessed. Okay, let me close that up there. Wow. I just want to look at it. and I, I want to have all the tea in it, you know? Oh, so stinking cute. I'll let you look again. I wish you can see her face better, but it's like a little, she's like a little teeny smile. Oh. I don't think you can see. This is why I need to get a better camera. But anyways, it's so cute. I love it. Love, love, love. All right, let's see this guy here. Hopefully it's okay. Oh, oh no. Uh-oh. Okay, this guy was broken. Oh, oh shoot. Okay, we had one casualty here. I don't know what, I think it was like a little crescent-shaped dish. It is okay. I don't think I can fix it. But oh man, I think it was just like a little crescent-shaped pie dish. I'm not going to open up more because I don't want it to get all over but oh that is okay that that happened I'm not the kind of person who you know gets mad or anything like that because this was wrapped with such care that ugh, I don't know whoever was mailing it was probably very rough with it but anyways that is okay I could tell it was very cute it was like a pie dish and it was like crescent shaped it was very cute Let's keep going, shall we? No biggie. Another cute little tag. So cute. I love that. So, you know, just know with mystery things and, you know, with fragile things being sent far distances, I don't think that um, this person could have gone any farther with wrapping the things because they're wrapped so perfectly and with a lot of care. And I think with older and delicate things, this is just something that you really can't avoid. So, I do not blame the seller at all. <gasps> oh! I have a rooster, guys. Oh my. I think I might have said that I like farm animals. So this is just too cute. And he's on a really pretty wooden pedestal. 
and he's he's roosterin'. What is it called? I don't know. What is it called when a rooster sings? I don't even know, but uh, I'm gonna put him probably right here on my rack. Right now I have my little my little wicker ducky basket. So maybe I'll put him with him. Or on like the bottom. I love him. Eee! He's just too cute. Very special little guy. He cut. Let me just get organized here. Everything is very unorganized. There we go. All right, what's next here? Oh, wow. This is so cool. This looks like a very vintage and antique looking, I don't know, it's some kind of kitchen tool, I would say. Is it a strainer where you like put it on the pot and you go like that? Or is it like a pie thing? I don't know, but it's very cool. Please let me know in the comments if you know what this little tool is, because I think it's awesome. Um, and I love displaying like vintagey kitchen tools. So this is really cool. What does it say? It says something on there. Folly? F-O-L-E-Y. I think that's what it says. Very cool. Now I need to go on like a hunt and find out what this, I think it's a kitchen tool is because it's really cool. Oh, thank you so much. Whoever made this box, I think her name is on Etsy, but, oh, this is beautiful. Her name's on Etsy, but I just don't know. I have to look up what the actual name is on there. But, oh my goodness, this just reminds me, like, of your grandma or something like that. It is a granny square, and it is probably one of the prettiest granny squares I've ever seen. Oh my goodness, I love it. And I actually crochet, so I can imagine myself um, using this square in one of my own projects. And I think that that would be very special. Um, just having something that's so, um, like made by someone else and kind of vintagey and put it on one of my newer projects. I think that would be really cool. That's beautiful. Thank you. I love that. What else we got going here? What is this? Ooh, I think this is like a vintage cheese grater. That is so cool. If Please, if I'm wrong, let me know in the comments. But I think that's what this is. And it's very cool. Ooh, I've never seen a cheese grater like this. So, okay, we got two like vintagey kitchen things. So cool. Actually, no, three with the cookie cutters. Very, very cool. Let's continue. Oh, more little tags. I'm saving all of these tags for my junk journal. So... Thank you, Whimsy Barn, for the tag. <laughs> I'm trying to, they're all stuck together. Okay. What is next? Something's in here. Another little package wrapped up. Ooh, oh my goodness. I love this. Look how absolutely beautiful that it, it is. Oh, and it goes like that. I think it's like to pour cream. I don't know, let me know again, but wow, it's like nice and heavy feeling. And it's so pretty, look how pretty. Just the glass detailing. Oh my goodness. I absolutely love it. Oh, and it pours out. Hello. <laughs> I love that. Oh my goodness. I just can't wait to display all of these things. They're so pretty. And again, with the cup. Mm. So nice. Like whoever puts these boxes together, they have really good, they ha I feel like they have a very good eye for things and like knowing what goes well together and what you're looking for. Like this is all like Grandma E Farmhouse, which I really love. I think I might have even said that, like use the word grandma. Um, <laughs> So, wow, super, super nice and well put together. So this is my last thing in here. Let's see what it is. What do you got? Ooh, another tag, saving them all. What else here? Okay, I think this one is intact. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. This plate is absolutely beautiful. 
Oh my goodness. Look at this plate. Oh my goodness. That is something to behold. I love the white and the blue. And it looks like it's a snowy scene and it has, I get, oh, I think it's supposed to go with the, with the teacup almost because it has this, they, the people have the same little faces, but they kind of go together. Ah, oh my goodness. I absolutely adore this plate so much. There's something just so like, I love these nostalgic type of scenes. It reminds me of Courier and Ives. Uh, it says USA on the back, so I don't know the maker, um, but it's nice and like heavy, like you could tell it's good quality. Um, and it even has little like scalloping on the sides, but this is so pretty. Oh my goodness, guys. Ah, I can't wait to put this out all together. Um, but yeah, this is everything that I got from Whimsy Barn. And I could do one more like pan over real quick of everything that was in the box, but this adorable apron that I can't get enough of, this gorgeous plate, my very cute cookie cutters, very cute teacup, which, oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with, my little creamer, which I actually have a creamer collection. I, I have the, like the white sort of, I don't know, they're not milk glass, but they're like white creamers. I collect those, so I love creamers of all kinds. I got my vintage kitchen tools. Who doesn't love that? My beautiful little granny square. And there was also the other little plate, which I, I'm not even going to show because it was it's very broken. I don't want to get the glass everywhere. Um, but I, I don't even care. Everything else is so perfect that, um, unfortunately, whoever was carrying the box was a little rough. <laughs> But like I said, it, it has nothing to do with the seller, what happened to that little piece, um, because everything was wrapped with like, it's loaded with wrapping and this really good wrapping too. So, you know, they spared no expense on the wrapping and making sure it was safe. So that's not the seller's fault at all. Um, so thank you so much, Whimsy Barn. And I will be ordering from you on Etsy um, again, and maybe even for gifts too. I feel like mystery boxes, are a really fun gift because you don't know what's going to be in there. The person doesn't know what's going to be in there. And it's just filled with things that you can personalize. You know, I asked for farmhouse stuff and that is what she gave, you know, and it's just really lovely stuff. I can't stop showing you because I love everything so much. I love how he's on the wooden pedestal too. So cute. I feel like I'm going to stare at this plate probably for like the next five days <laughs> because it's so darn cute. But anyways, um, yeah, everything was packaged so nice and with the little personal touches, like the little tags and the sticker and everything was wrapped so fantastically. Um, what else could you want? My mystery box, pretty much. So thank you so much, Wendy Whimsy Barn Vintage, and I'll link her down below because I absolutely recommend. She has really good reviews on her website, and um, yeah, I think it came all the way from Florida. So all these things um, came, and wow. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed opening this box with me, and um, it was a lot of fun for me too. So I hope to make more videos soon in the future. So thank you so much for watching. Bye, everybody, for me and my plate.